He is a man who commands limelight comparable only to the Hollywood stars and demands a status befitting the head of a state. Today, William Henry Gates III is synonymous with information superhighway and almost all major innovations in the world of information technology. Bill Gates is not only the creator of the world's most successful software company, Microsoft Corporation, but also one of the richest individuals to walk the face of planet Earth. Wherever Mr. Gates goes, he carries with him the incredible success story of a man who dropped out from college, started his company in a small garage 21 years ago, and today has a personal worth in excess of $29 billion, a sum larger than the total foreign exchange earnings of many developing countries. On his first ever visit to India this week, Gates was trying to get a first-hand experience of the country and for Microsoft's vision for this market. We basically, in increasing our investment here, uh, have bet that all of the right things are going to take place and that India will be uh, one of very few countries where a massive amount of software development gets done. And certainly everything I've seen on this visit just reinforces the decision we made uh, to make a, a very long-term commitment to this market. Gates arrived in India with the hype and hoopla of a superstar. His schedule included a breakfast meeting with the Prime Minister of India, Mr. H.D. Devagoda, an official meeting with the Finance Minister, Mr. P. Chidambaram at the North Block, and Bill Gates hinted at various issues he discussed with the Prime Minister and the Finance Ministers. I did have a chance to meet with the Prime Minister both in uh, Switzerland and here uh, for breakfast today and uh, talked to the Finance Minister yesterday. And the key things there were talking about uh, the opportunities for India and what kind of investments would help, would help India realize those opportunities. I certainly uh, thanked uh, both gentlemen for the uh, direction they're taking on the software duty, uh, bringing that down to uh, a zero duty, which I think uh, is not only helpful, but sends a strong message about uh, the country's desire to embrace technology. Although Gates refrained from disclosing any concrete investment proposals, he announced that Microsoft would invest 3.5 crore rupees towards the University Advanced Technology Labs program at five universities in India. This investment would come in the form of software programs and support to three IITs in Delhi, Bombay and Madras. Gates also had an exclusive interaction with a select group of children who had won a contest organized by Microsoft. Wherever Gates went, the response was tumultuous. At a lecture organized by the Confederation of Indian Industry, there were scenes of people gate crashing to see and hear his lecture, and the not so lucky ones choosing to stand outside and watch the software guru speak on the television screen outside the hall. The keen listeners included Infotech executives, industry captains, political leaders, and the new generation. Everybody wanted to hear his version of the future, a future which will be irreversibly shaped by the all pervasive information technology. Major businesses like banking, insurance, even retailing, will have a very different um, approach as consumers start to live a lifestyle where they're using the internet regularly on a daily basis. Now this will take, for this, the full impact of this to be felt will take over 20 years. But it's not too soon for CEOs to be preparing their company, uh, particularly if they're a company that works with a young audience uh, or sells to uh, uh, the more developed uh, communities. Here's a case where At the end of it, while many seem to have been left awestruck, the corporate sector had reasons to feel elated. India has been a major player in software uh, for some time now. And there is an enormous untapped potential for this skill to be leveraged for India's benefit. And I must say, Mr. Bill Gates sees this potential in India. In India today, when we are on the threshold of a uh, upsurge, and I expect after the budget more so, uh, a momentum which uh, IT will get because of a person like Bill Gates visiting and talking to concerned players, is, uh, speaks very well for us. The icon of the Infotech revolution may have gone back pleased over the tremendous response he received in India, but on his part, left behind an endorsement of the fact that India is a country which global corporations cannot today afford to overlook. His first visit may not have brought in as investment billions of greenbacks to the country, but it certainly gave enough Philip to reboot the Indian software industry for a strategic login to the future. The controversy around the high profile.